much of a video. Today, what I'd like to do is to do a temperature test between a couple, diff a couple Dutch ovens, compare it to what the manufacturer recommends for number of coals on the top and the bottom. We have two Dutch ovens, I have an aluminum one and a cast iron one. Both are, are 12 inches and we will use the same number of coals on the top and the bottom. On the inside of each one, a, thermo a thermometer, which will then tell us the temperature readings you know, as we go. I mean, there are some variables between the, the two Dutch ovens. So, so first, we're going we're gonna to weigh them because there is a difference in, the, in just the weight of the, of the Dutch oven. We'll start with the aluminum one. I have just a, just a luggage scale, and this one, the, the aluminum comes in at 7 pounds. Let's see if we can get a, get a video of that. So, 7 pounds. Okay, so we'll do the cast iron one. So, here we go. So, this one here, 18.5 pounds just show you the, the chart here. These are the variables that we, we have and we're going to zero in on, on what the manufacturer recommends on the for a 12 inch Dutch oven at 350 degrees. The number of coals on the top and the bottom. And we'll be checking the temperature every five minutes. Okay, so we're going to start with, with 8 coals on the bottom, then we'll put 17 on top. Okay, our start time is now. We will check the temperature in five minutes. Okay, here we go. We're gonna check our temperature first in the aluminum one. This is the first five minute temperature. Let's scoot that back. It's about 170 degrees. We're about 170 degrees in the cast iron. So, they are the same. We'll start the timer again. Alright, here we are at the 10 minute mark. Oops, this one here is at 250 degrees. Oops, timer's going off here. This one here is at 260 degrees. Okay, here we are at the next 15 minutes. Here. We have a little rainstorm coming, so we'll just do this here. Okay, we're at 300 and, and 310 degrees. About 315 degrees. Okay, here we are at the 20 minute mark. About 300, 340 degrees there. The cast iron one's about 345, just under 350. So the goal is, with the same number of coals, the oven would would reach 350 degrees. Here we are at 20 minutes, and we're pretty close. Okay, here we are at the 25 minute. We'll see how how things are. At 25, it's right about, it's right at 350, just a hair under on that thermometer. Three fifty on the cast iron. So we'll see how they may maintain this over the next um, the next 30 minutes. Okay, here we are at 30 minutes. We'll see how things are maintaining and or if there's any change. No, nope, we're still at 350 in the aluminum. 
350 in the cast iron. So, so, so far the number of coals at the top and the bottom that the manufacturer recommended, it's, it's working. Okay, at the 35 minute mark. We'll see how we're doing. Oh, it's a little under 350. Looks like 347. This is the same too, it's dropped a little bit, so it's under 350. So Okay, it's dropping. Well this may indicate it's time to start some new coals to keep it going if if you have something that's gonna be cooking longer than 30 minutes. We are at the 40 minute mark. Let's take a peek here. Still about 300 and and 46, 47. That's dropping, 325. Okay, we waited um, 10 minutes, so it's actually 50 minutes now from the last temperature test. So we'll see how things are. And the aluminum one, uh, 325. Cast iron one, just over 300, 300 and call it 305. All right, here we are at the hour mark, and the rain is coming down. So this is our last uh, temperature test. So here we go. At one hour, we're just under 300, uh, about 290 degrees there. In the cast iron. About 275 degrees in the cast iron. So we'll tabulate the results and, and share it in just a few minutes. Thank you everyone for watching the video. And this was a, was a good experiment because we're actually comparing aluminum to cast iron with this temperature test. And thankfully, you know, the rain stopped, the sun came out, and we've got results to show you. So you can look at the sheet here and it, it was interesting on the the rise in temperature and how it was maintained and then how it how it diminished the the benefit here of the Dutch ovens the aluminum one is seven pounds the cast iron is 18 pounds there there is a difference but the test proves that the temperature is maintained appropriately in both in both Dutch ovens and the information is useful because you can then monitor when you need to add add additional coals to maintain a, a good temperature to cook uh, whatever whatever you're cooking and you know going through this test the one big disappointment is that there's nothing to eat so the next time we do we do a Dutch oven video we're gonna have something to eat and it's gonna be good so thanks for watching this is Grizzly Ridge Outdoors Thank you.